Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Bobby from Repair Shopper with another Feature Friday video. This week we're going to be talking about a little hidden feature that's been around for a while, but it's come up a few times and I figure it might be worth covering in a Feature Friday video. So uh, just a little bit of background. Some shops, when they check devices in, like to keep them in cubbies or in specific areas and maybe they've labeled them and they want to be able to track where their products are, but then also they want to apply labels to maybe the accessories that are left with the devices to the device itself, or maybe to like a folder that holds any kind of documentation and be able to know where that particular device is stored in their storage system. So the questions I've been seeing is, can you add some kind of storage space number or bin number, for example, to a label? Actually, you can. It's a hidden feature within Repair Shopper. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you'll need to do is head over to the Ticket Custom Fields. Do, do, do. And once you're there, um, in any of any or all, really, if, if you're using this feature, I would recommend adding this to all of your custom fields. But just to start off, click on any of them, click Manage Fields. Uh, then you're gonna wanna click New Field. And then in the name of the new field, you're gonna wanna give it the name Bin. Just like this. And then make sure that it's a text field type. One last thing that uh, is not mandatory, but I would recommend it, is making this field required. That way your text or whoever's checking in the device does not forget to fill that field out when they're creating a ticket. So when it's done, it should look something like this. The name is bin, the type is text field, and in my case, I chose required. All right, so let's go create a ticket. And I'm kind of old school. I definitely like the traditional workflow, but this will also work on the new ticket workflows as well. Look up the customer. And then when you select the custom field type, the field will show up here and then you just give it a bin number or whatever uh, method of tracking or uh, the location of the device is. It can be letters, numbers, symbols, whatever. Uh, just enter it in there and let me fill out the ticket really quick. Create the ticket. <clears throat> And then on the ticket label, there will be this nifty new bin uh, with the number designation or the location designation. And you can use that label to apply it to, like I said, accessories, uh, the device itself, maybe any paperwork that's checked in with the device. Uh, that way you can keep track of it. But yeah, this is a little uh, more hidden feature that some people have been asking me about and I figured might be a, a good subject to cover on a Feature Friday video. So I hope everyone enjoys this hidden little feature and I'll see you in the next one.